Shockwave therapy is one of the services we offer here at the practice and it's a really effective tool for a number of musculoskeletal conditions. So what I'll do in this video is talk about some of the conditions that we use it for and help you try and decide whether this modality is right for you or not. What exactly is shockwave therapy? So shockwaves, although they might sound like electric shockwaves, they're actually not and they're actually a form of sound wave. So the way it works is our machine has a giant air compressor inside it and this air compressor fires a metal bullet that's inside this applicator head. So the metal bullet hits this solid piece of metal that's in contact with the skin. So all the energy from the metal bullet gets converted into a sound wave. So these sound waves, they're very different to ultrasound, which is a modality that a lot of people are familiar with or have had experience with, where that machine causes just a gentle warmth in the skin. These shock waves, they, they're quite a high energy sound wave and they cause mechanical stimulation over the tissues that's being treated. And there's a number of changes that happen within the cell, within the tissue, and one of the big ones when treating tendons is an increase in fibroblast turnover. So fibroblasts are the cells that lay down collagen to help repair and rebuild damaged tendons. So what conditions can it be used for? Well in the clinic some of the most common conditions that we treat in the upper body, in the shoulder, we treat rotator cuff tears and tendinopathy, tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. We can also treat tendinopathies in the wrist and fingers. In the lower half of the body we can treat conditions like greater trochanteric pain syndrome. Uh, we generally would treat the, the tendon just as it inserts into the greater trochanter in the hip. Lower down in the knee conditions like patella tendinopathy or jumper's knee responds really well. And then going further down, some of the big ones that we treat are plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendinopathy, and posterior tibial uh, tendinopathy also responds really well to this form of treatment. So some of the effects of shockwave or the benefits that patients report is a reduced sense of pain, um, increased blood flow in the area, warmth, redness, um, there's also a decrease in, in muscle tone. So if muscles are really tight or in spasm, it can help reduce that spasm. So a couple side effects to bear in mind, although the side effects are very mild with shockwave therapy, there are still some that some patients have reported. So some of the more common ones are redness and a little bit of swelling in the area. Uh, whenever we use a, a higher energy level, sometimes we can cause a bit of irritation on the skin and you get what's called petechial hemorrhaging. Um, that usually clears up pretty quickly um, and that again is just a minor concern. A typical course of shockwave therapy is one session a week and we run it for up to six weeks. And again, this depends on how long you've had the condition for and um, what your end goal is. But generally between four to six sessions spaced a week apart is a good course of treatment. Does shockwave therapy hurt? Unfortunately, yes it does. It is quite uncomfortable. But again, the general rule of thumb is we wanna try and get as close to what's called the therapeutic dose. So we wanna get sufficient amount of energy into the tissue to get a response within the cells but we also want to try and keep within um, a patient's subjective pain rating so we generally try aim for a subjective pain rating of about six or seven out of ten so if we can get close to a therapeutic dose but not exceed say a seven out of ten on the pain scale then that's really good again some patients who are in a lot more pain or more sensitive we might, would run the energy level much lower. Although it might not be as close to that therapeutic dose as we would like, in those cases we might then need to do more than six sessions um, just to try and make up for the low energy at the start. So if you have any questions or things you'd like to know, um, please get in touch with us. There's a chat function on the lower right hand side of our website. Um, just send your questions through and we'll answer them as best we can.